The anterior abdominal wall is being prepped with chlorhexidine swabs, either two 3.5 milliliter swabs or a 10 milliliter swab, and allowed to dry for 60 seconds. The area is now being draped with sterile blue towels. The patient is in left lateral decubitus position for a left lower quadrant paracentesis or in the semi-upright position for an infra-umbilical paracentesis. 1% lidocaine is used for local anesthesia of the skin using either a 25 or 27 gauge needle to create a skin wheel. This is then changed to a longer 22 gauge needle for anesthesia of the deeper soft tissues. As the needle is introduced, constant negative aspiration is applied to guarantee that you are not in a blood vessel prior to injection of the lidocaine. It is essential to get good anesthesia of the skin and the peritoneum, which are the two structures that have the highest density of pain fibers. An 18-gauge needle is then used to open the puncture site more to allow introduction of the Caldwell needle. The Caldwell needle is shown here uh, with an inner needle over which you have a blunt metal catheter. A Z-tract method is utilized to introduce the Caldwell needle with return of amber-colored acidic fluid. At this point, the catheter is advanced over the needle and then the needle is withdrawn to have return of acidic fluid. A 60 milliliter lure lock syringe is then connected to the catheter uh, and amber colored acidic fluid is aspirated into the syringe. This acidic fluid uh, can be introduced directly into culture bottles at the bedside and then the remainder of the fluid can be submitted to the laboratory for routine diagnostic studies. The syringe is now being disconnected from the catheter and then suction tubing will be connected to the catheter on one end and then the other end will be introduced into an evacuated uh, container where the vacuum will be used for a therapeutic paracentesis. Here the acidic fluid is being directly inoculated into aerobic and anaerobic culture bottles which optimizes the yield of acidic fluid cultures. The remainder of the acidic fluid can be sterilely capped and sent to the lab for diagnostic studies. The Caldwell needle is now being removed and then pressure will be applied to the site which is subsequently cleaned and a sterile band-aid uh, can be applied to complete the paracentesis procedure.